Okay. <laughs> this is really unbelievable. It's going to really blow you away. I, I had ordered the Delft clay just recently. I mean, it's, it's probably been a week. And I was so frustrated with having to deal with the venting that I, I took my existing flask and I created a very simple vent system uh, that, that I can't believe. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm just blown away at how well it works and how easy it was for me to come up with it. So I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to be sand casting this ring, which is a really cool engagement ring. It's a pattern I carry. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the side with the rim down. We're going to take the Delft clay, put it in. Hammer it in really good. You want to get it nice and uh, compact in there. Scrape it off on the top. This is so simple, I, I just can't even believe it. Smooth that off with your finger. Then we take the pattern, set it on there, push it down. Just like that. Super simple. Okay, next thing. Take the other side, make sure there's nothing in the channel. Well, I didn't put that kind of crooked, but it's okay. So, line up the flask. Then we take a little bit of talc. And we paint it onto the sand area. You don't have to worry about it getting on your pattern really, just get it on the sand. Nothing too heavy. Blow off the excess, don't breathe it in. Okay, so now we take more of the Delft clay and we hammer it in. Hammer it really well. Okay. Take off the excess, nice and flat. Kind of cut away from the sprue there. Now, separate it straight up. Look at that, man. That is so nice. Now what we're going to do... Cut the funnel a little bit bigger. You can push it down with your finger. Pat it down so there's no, no grains on there. Now this is what's so simple. I've got these special cuts here in this side of the flask. And you just make a little cut going out. Make sure it uh, breaks the edge there. These two aren't really that necessary, but we'll do them anyways. Over here. I'll pull it a little higher so you can see better. This one here, I'd come right off the tip. This, this is just so easy, I can't even believe it. And we'll do the last one here.
Okay, so that's that side. If you can see that, that, that side is done. Maybe push down some of this sand that came up, no big deal. Then on this side, we just want to remove. Look how nice that came off. Okay, so now, if I had to make one comment about what I did is I didn't, you can see here I didn't hammer this down enough, but it's not going to matter for just a demonstration casting here. So, just push that down with your thumb. Now, we take the two halves here. Get the sand out of the way. So what we want to do is, is line these up. Fit them together. Set it in. Put the plate in. Okay, I'm going to need to get a pan in there. Turn my gas on. Okay. Now, first thing we do is do the gas. Then we add the oxygen. I'm going to pour about an uh, ounce and a half of silver here. I didn't measure it, maybe two. I think this is the most exciting uh, idea I've come up with in, in a long time. It's just so easy. Okay, we'll add a little four x to that. Okay, heat up the tip. Dump it in there. Okay, I'm going to open this quick here. You see that? That is like, this is beautiful, man. This is absolutely beautiful. Smooth as can be. I mean, God. It was so simple. Okay, that's about it. Just, I had to show you guys this. All right, thank you.